Hey folks, good morning. Happy Thursday. I got it right this time. Thursday, February the 8th. Good to see y'all. Hope you're off to a good start today. You guys good? Yeah? All right. They're they're playing a game over there this morning. Lily, you know one. Huh? Uh, what are the the Game of Life Jurassic Park Edition? There we go. All right, good to be on here. Good to see you. All right, a uh, couple quick announcements before we get started. Reminder: uh, This Sunday uh, is church, right? <laughs> it's church, so come out for come out for church. Um, but we also want you to come uh, in the afternoon, evening, uh, and stay for our come back for our uh, Super Bowl luau. Um, some of you are maybe excited about watching the game, the, the, the Chiefs, the 49ers. Some of you maybe not so excited. Uh, but one thing we can all get excited about is uh, food, <laughs> right? All the good food. So come on out, 6 o'clock, uh, Super Bowl luau party. Uh, the church, we are providing the, the Kahlua-style pork and the sides, the fried rice, all that stuff. Come on out. Bring the whole family. Bring friends. Bring coworkers. Uh, yes, the game will be on. I think the coverage starts at 6.30. That means the game won't start till like 7, 7.15 or whatever. Um, so come on out for that. Uh, in the courtyard, we'll have all the tables set up. And, and some of you helped us do that last night. I appreciate that. And... Uh, in the fellowship hall, we'll have it on for the serious game watchers, right? We'll have the, the projector on in there and, and stuff. Uh, he's having a rough time over there. And then we'll have uh, kids uh, kids activities. Um, oh, no. Okay. We will... Uh, and you're in your socks? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, we will. Uh, we're asking you to bring your favorite uh, game time snack, whether it's a dip or a wing or a, a chip or a dessert or, or, or whatever. Bring your favorite game time snacks to share. We'll provide the main course stuff, and uh, we're looking for, uh, forward to just a great time of fellowshipping, having fun, and uh, enjoying a enjoying a, a luau in the midst of this football game that's going to be on. All right? Okay, that's our announcement. Next, let's talk about uh, what we're here to do, our devotional, right? Uh, before we do our devotional, we need to have a couple of jokes, because it's always good to have a couple of jokes. You ready for some jokes? Aaron, are you ready for some jokes? Yeah. All right. Owen, are you ready for jokes? No? All right. All right. Here we go. I don't mean to brag, but cashiers always seem to be checking me out. <laughs> I thought about... I thought about telling a carpentry joke, but I couldn't think of any that would work. There's only one thing that I cannot deal with. A deck of cards glued together. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Let's jump in to our devotional this morning. Uh, and we're going to be talking about your witness... And your weakness. Oh, wait. Shh. Just for a little bit longer, okay? <laughs> your witness and your weakness. Your witness to others will ultimately not come out of your strengths, but out of your weakness. We see this happen all through Scripture, and oftentimes we, people, we have it backwards. We think the world's impressed by by Christianities and uh, Christianity and their prosperity. No, that doesn't impress the world, not at all. They see that everywhere. 
They see it everywhere. What impresses non-believers is how believers handle adversity in their lives. Do you hear that? They, 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 how they handle their adversity, the weakness, the junk. Your suffering, not your success, is what gives you credibility. That's what gives you credibility. Oh, I'm having some internet issues. Uh-oh. We got a lot of noise going on. Yeah, I have no signal now. Yep, just disconnected. Uh-oh. Not working. Well, I'm going to keep going and I'll post it. All right, we'll do that. Your suffering, not your success, is what gives you credibility in life. Your, your faithfulness and not your fame. Your faithfulness and not your fame earns you respect. The Apostle Paul was was a pro at using this. Okay, Owen, it's enough. Lily, stop. The Apostle Paul was, was a pro at using this. He wrote from a prison in Rome. He said this, and this is what he wrote in, in Philippians 1, chapter, ver, or chapter 1, verse 12. I want you to know, my dear brothers and sisters, that everything that has happened to me here has helped spread the good news. Did you hear that? See, Paul used his, his pain to model the message God had given him. That's what he did. While he was chained up in prison, he, he, he wrote letters to churches all over. He actually wrote a, a, a piece that became a big chunk of the New Testament. Paul said, in, in everything that we do, we show that we are true ministers of God. 2 Corinthians 6, 4. That includes how you handle pain. How you handle failure, defeat, problems, mistakes, uh, sin, all the junk in your life. How you handle all of that. It doesn't take God's power to handle good, right? Good is good. Anybody can can survive and operate while things are good, but it takes God's power to to patiently endure through all the stuff in life. Do you agree with that? The world doesn't have a have a good answer for for how to endure. They don't. They don't have a good answer for that. Uh, but followers of Christ, they they. They patiently endure suffering. They patiently endure hardship. Um, the Bible talks about they patiently endure troubles of every kind, right? And as we do that, we bear the witness of Jesus. I think your deepest ministry, your, your, your best testimony, will come out of your deepest hurt. And your deepest life message will come out of your your deepest pain. In every area of your life where, where you've had pain, where you've had that stuff go on, you have a testimony. You have a story. We talked about it last night in Wednesday Night Bible Study. This is who I was. This is what happened. This is who I am now. So, so how are you going to help bring others from despair to hope in Jesus, you tell your story. You don't hide your weakness. In fact, you you use it as a mighty tool because God will help you endure through it. All right. That's all I got for you today. Hope you're off to a good start. Uh, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, remember, uh, this Sunday, church, Sunday school at 930 uh, morning worship together at 10.30. <laughs> and then the Super Bowl luau at 6.30. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. All right. Good to see you. Uh, if you need anything, reach out to us. Call us, text us, let us know. Uh, and uh, we will see you again real soon. And remember, if you have an opportunity to, be a blessing. Because he's always a blessing to us. Right? Love you all. Appreciate you. See you. Goodbye.